Good morning, guys. Still in pajamas, doing some work, getting my morning started. I got a lot of patients that I got to talk to uh, from the weekend. So just had my cup of coffee with one tablespoon of sugar-free creamer, and I wrote it down on that board that I showed you last night in my video. So we are totally, I am like in such a good headspace, so focused, so determined. Guys, I'm going to kick ass this month. I'm telling you, this month, this new box, I am going to be perfection. I am, I'm in that headspace, so no holding me back. So starting off the day with a chocolate, what is this one? The mint cookie crisp bar. Uh, I decided to go with a bar, not a shake. I don't know why. I'm just kind of in the mood for this. Um, but that's that. And um, I'm excited for a great day. I am in that headspace. You know what I'm talking about, right? You guys have been there. It's so exciting when you like feel like you're just going to do it. And you're making that decision, that conscious effort writing it down on that board, drinking my water, getting in my fats, documenting my condiments. And so I don't go over or under, right? That's important. And that is the name of the game. It's all about commitment, decision, strategy, right? I mean, I knew to do that all along, but you know, you kind of just like, ah, eh, whatever. Can't get comfortable. As Soon as you become comfortable, things wean off. That's just, that's my history. So I'm going to stay uncomfortable with this plan and do my documentation. I'm going to, again, I'm, I've said this in past videos. If you're new to my channel, you probably have never heard me say it, but if you take this weight loss journey and look at it like a job, right? You wake up in the morning, you go to work, you do all your work, you pay your bills on time. That's a job. That's a conscious effort. You make a conscious effort to do all of the things you need to do. But when it comes to taking care of ourselves, sometimes we slack off, but we can't. We have to take this journey as it was a job. So my job is to wake up, document everything, do it the right way, and get success. So that's where I'm at right now. All right, gonna down this mint bar finish off my coffee, get this work done, and then I'm going to get dressed and we're going to start our day. So I'll see you in just a little bit. Hey guys. Okay. So it's fueling number two time. And I want to take this opportunity to just thank all of you for joining my contest. The contest was to see who could come up with the most original creative hack, whether it be a fueling hack, a lean and green hack. And I have to tell you, there were so many entries that were amazing. Like we had a hard time deciding who the winner would be. Oh my gosh, thank you all for the time and effort it took for you to submit your hacks. But the one that was chosen, if you follow me on Instagram, I posted this morning, the name of the winner was Jennifer Kite. Jennifer, you are the winner, okay? So you have 24 hours to message me your address so I can send you your prize. Uh, you will be receiving a $25 gift card to the company who runs TJ Maxx, Home Goods, the whole nine yards. So you'll have a $25 gift card to spend at any of those stores. I believe Marshalls is included in that and whatnot. So I hope you like your prize because I love your fueling hack. And the reason this one was chosen above all of the others is because I felt like it was something totally different, something that is easy. Like you don't have to run out and buy a ton of ingredients for. Uh, it's basically just uh, one, two, three, maybe four ingredients, super simple. And I already had the stuff here in my house. So um, the fueling hack is a bowl, ready for this? of creamy potato soup. Now, she says you can use one of two fuelings. You can use the potato, the mashed potato fueling or the cheddar herb biscuit. So I chose, of course, the mashed potatoes because I just ordered a ton of them. And I love soup. I, I've always loved soup, but we're very limited to the uh, kind of soup that we can have. Chicken noodle, I love. So many of you say you hate it. <laughs> so I thought with the colder weather approaching, this would be a really good fueling. If you have a cold, if you don't have a cold, just a nice big hot bowl of potato soup. 
And included in the soup is uh, things to make it creamy and toppings. Um, so let's just get started on the recipe and you let me know what you think of Jennifer's recipe. But um, again, thank you all for your entries. There will be so many more contests moving forward. Uh, make sure though that you follow me on Instagram because that's where the winners are posted. That's where um, I do a lot of my announcing. Also the Keeping It Up Via with Felicia Nurse Facebook group. That's where I announce the contests. Uh, be part of that group, it's free. Um, and if you're a part of all of that in conjunction with my YouTube channel here, you won't miss a trick. All right, let's get started on the potato soup fueling hack. All right guys, so we have a little soup pot here and I have inside one and one quarter cup of water. We're going to add in one pouch of the mashed potatoes. So I'm going to put the flame on. Going to add the mashed potatoes. This is so exciting. Adding the mashed potatoes. And I'm going to get out one of my little whisks here because I think I want to whisk it up in the pot just to start it off. All right, now the recipe calls to uh, let this boil. So right now it's the fueling in the one and a half cup, uh, one and a quarter cups of water, that's it. So we're gonna bring this to a boil and then we're gonna add in some more things. All right guys, so as you can see, we are at a boil, all right? So the next step is, let me just get this out. The next step, is to add one wedge of Laughing Cow. This is light Swiss flavored, goes right in. And again, I'm gonna use my whisk to break the cheese up inside. According to Jennifer, the cheese helps make this soup even more thick and creamy. So let's get that going. All right, so we have been boiling for about a good minute or so. It's so nice and thick and creamy. I can see it already in the pot. Um, I'm gonna be adding in just a little bit of parsley. This is not in the original recipe, but I like some parsley in there. So I'm gonna add it. And I'm gonna let this cook just a little bit more. The next step in this uh, would be to Shut the uh, flame off. And we are gonna pour this deliciousness into a bowl. Oh my gosh, guys, look how good that looks. Okay, I'm gonna use my rubber spatula here and get all of this out. Oh, this looks so good, and it's chilly here, so I'm excited to have a nice bowl of hot, garlic, creamy potato soup. The next thing she says to do is top with a little bit of bacon bits. I do not have bacon bits, but that would be an amazing topping, that smoked bacon flavor. Uh, oh my gosh, you could even sprinkle a little bit of cheese on top, but let's bring this over to the table and do the taste test. Okay, so I'm going to show you what this bowl of soup looks like. And honestly, my mouth is salivating. <laughs> Hold on, let me show you. Get a load of that bowl of soup. This is a big bowl. This is like one of those dinner bowls, salad bowls, and it's filled almost to the top. This, ladies and gentlemen, is, oh my gosh, I can't. Jennifer, thank you so much for your submission. I'm going to taste this now and probably pass out. All right, I've got my soup spoon. I am so excited. This looks so good. I wish I had just a little bit of bacon bits for this, but I don't, but here goes. Bon appetit. Okay, what restaurant am I at right now? Who would have ever thought well, clearly Jennifer did, right? But who would have ever thought we could make mashed potatoes into a thick and creamy soup? This is out of this world. Okay, the Laughing Cow, 
definitely adds a creaminess to it. I used the garlic mashed potatoes, so there is definitely that taste of garlic in there. It's This is delicious. And the parsley, for me, just puts it over the top because I like parsley and potato soup, typically. Um, I, I can't say enough about it. Mmm. Okay, guys. So no more, I don't wanna hear any more of I don't like the chicken noodle soup. Make this. If you're like me and you have a ton of boxes of mashed potatoes, this is yet another way to utilize them. And again, she's saying that you can use that cheddar herb biscuit and make a cheddar cheese flavored herby soup out of that feeling, which will probably be just as good, if not even better. But I don't have that biscuit feeling here, so I couldn't do it. And so this feeling right now sitting in front of me is considered one fueling and one condiment because the potatoes are the fueling and the condiment is the laughing cow. Had I added the bacon bits to the top of this, which I really wish I would have had, that would have been the second condiment. So if we go over here and we look at my board, you'll see. So here it is for the day. I had my creamer in my coffee and the LC stands for laughing cow that went into my soup. So I am keeping track, guys. I'm keeping track. And this fueling is just another addition to the arsenal of Optavia that the company didn't even think about. So again, to Jennifer, thank you so much for your submission. You are the grand prize winner. You will be receiving that $25 gift card in the mail. And like I said, you have 24 hours to message me your address. If for some reason Jennifer doesn't acknowledge this, then I will be doing a second prize drawing um, for the prize. But I have the feeling Jennifer is gonna message me. But anyway, guys, that was fueling number two. So we will be moving on and I'll see you at the next fueling. I'm just gonna go enjoy my soup right now. Hey guys, so it's fueling number three. And I made the creamy chocolate shake with water and ice, nothing added, no PB2. Just came in from a walk, hence I'm out of my work clothes at the moment. <laughs> that red top was part of my work clothes. And now I'm sitting here in a t-shirt and shorts and enjoying my ceiling fan. <laughs> it's a beautiful day here today. It's like in the high 70s uh, with like this cool breeze. It's just such a beautiful day. And again, I'm in such a good headspace. I feel so good. And I have to be honest, that potato soup fueling made me so full that I'm almost tempted to put this aside for a little while for some reason. I mean, I, I just, not hungry. I will be having this anyway because it's time to eat, but I'm truly not, not hungry. That feeling was great. So, I don't know what else I'm gonna be doing for the day other than a little bit of work. It's not gonna be an exciting, you know, take you out with me type day. It's kind of chill, getting some work done, um, but we'll see. So tonight I'm gonna make a lean and green that I don't think I've made for you on my channel yet thus far. So that'll be exciting and we'll see how the day pans out. Hey guys, all right, so it's lean and green time and I have a wonderful recipe for you. I was talking to my neighbor and she said that she was grilling pork chops on the grill and she was doing like a bourbon, just kind of like a bourbon sauce with um, mustard and maple syrup and like spices and things like that. So of course that sounds so good. And I'm like, how can I recreate that? So I don't know if, you know, this is gonna be so much like a bourbon pork chop, but it's the closest I can get to what she was talking about. Uh, and thank you, Teresa, for your inspiration. Here we go. So what you're gonna need is one tablespoon of Walden Farms pancake syrup, one tablespoon, if I can get it to stand up, one tablespoon of Dijon mustard, and we are gonna mix that in a bowl, and this is gonna be our coating. Um, I think this might be good. It's not so much bourbon, but it's got that mapley, mustardy kind of flavor. I don't know. I've never done this, so let's see how it comes out. 
So here's the mixture. And I'm gonna slather this on top of a pork chop and we're gonna cook it in the air fryer. So let's see how this comes out. These are the pork chops that I buy. They're pork loin center cut. So we are allowed five ounces of this pork. Uh, they're boneless. So I am gonna coat probably two of these and cook them and then we'll measure them after they're cooked. How good does that look? Oh my gosh. All right, so we have two pork chops covered in the maple syrup and Dijon mustard. I guess you could kind of use any mustard if you like spicy brown. I'm sure that would work, but I'm curious to see what these two flavors combined taste like. All right, so I'm going to put them in the air fryer. I normally cook these at 425. My air fryer only goes to 400. So it's set at 400 and I'm gonna cook each side, I don't know, like seven minutes. So we'll see you in a little bit. All right, we're halfway through, looks pretty good. I'm gonna flip it over and cook it for another seven minutes. Well, 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 these things look really good. You can clearly see there's some caramelization from probably the syrup um, and it smells so good, but I think it needs to be cooked just a little more. So I'm going to flip them over again and cook them for another, I don't know, I'm going to try five minutes and see how that works. Well, it's all done and it looks and smells so good. So this is five ounces of pork weighed out and the correct amount of cucumbers uh, in grams. I forget the amount, but this is what it is. And this is lean and green tonight. Uh, so let's do the taste test. Look how good that looks. Look at that. <sighs> Something different. Here we go. Taking a bite. Hold on. Mmm. This is really good. I can predominantly taste the uh, Dijon mustard with a hint of that um, maple syrupy flavor in the background. Very juicy at seven minutes on each side. Mmm. That is really good. I would so have this again. So guys, don't be afraid to experiment. If my neighbor Teresa hadn't told me about her pork chops, I never would have thought to do this. Keep your eyes and ears open. When you hear somebody talking about a recipe or something that they've made or something that they want to make, or even if you come across a recipe, you know, at a restaurant, something, there's always a way to modify it. And I am so thankful for you, Teresa, because I know you watch my videos. Thank you for inspiring this Lean and Green. And I'm gonna go enjoy it right now. See you at the next fueling. All right, guys, we're at fueling number five and I'm still going strong. Drinking my water, I've completed here. Let's bring you, let's bring you over to the board and check. <laughs> yes, Paisley, hello. We're gonna <laughs> check the day. Let me spin you around. All right, guys, so on the board, condiments today was my morning creamer, my laughing cow in the soup today, and my Walden Farms uh, dressing for the, or our Walden Farms pancake syrup for the dinner. I don't need any fat today because the pork chops had the fat in it, and according to the guide, I didn't need to add any. And, oh, I got to update water. I am, like, almost good with water, so I'm just going to make this a three- and keep going because I still have two more feelings to go. How cool is that board? It is totally keeping me in check. And I'm about to have feeling number five, brownie time. Craving chocolate, so why not have a brownie? Why not have a brownie and lose weight? Why not have a brownie just because we can? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go enjoy this and I'll see you at the last feeling. Guess what time it is? chocolate pudding time. <laughs> this is made about an hour ago. Left it in the fridge and as you can see it doesn't fall out. It's thick, it's creamy, it's cold and it's the best way to end the day in my opinion. Notice no whipped cream. Aren't you proud of me? I'm proud of you for sticking through this. Stick with it. It works. Create yourself 
a chart like I did. Get yourself a board. I got that at the Dollar Tree. It's a dry erase board. It costs you one buck. Stick it on the fridge and track. Let me know in the comments who's tracking, who who's getting the best results possible by tracking. That's what I want to know. And I want to know your successes. Tell them to me. All right. So congratulations to the winner of the contest. Glad you like this new leaning green idea that I keep trying to pop in my videos. Um, what else? Today was a pretty good day, right? I think so. So I will see you all tomorrow. Thank you all for watching. Stay focused. I love you all. Have a great night.